It's the second round of the London Cup here this afternoon as Flyhouse Athletic take on the Gower All-Stars. Phil Glynn's side coming off a run of four straight wins and will go into this game exceptionally confident. Jonathan Grillo is the goalkeeper this afternoon with Juan Arias, James Munro, Khalid El Fayor and Wesson Maradi the defence this afternoon. Ramon Brasilero, Isaac Atite, Rashid Abadi and Kyle Brown along with Hitchum Abdella are in the midfield with Yannick James up front playing the lone striker's role. It'll be Jamal Ramsey on the bench for Phil Glynn's side who are targeting this cup as one to win this season. Should be a great game. Who goes through to the next round? So off we go. A real competitive game expected here at Fairlop Oak playing field as Gower All-Stars make the trip to Flyhouse Athletic, only established in 2021. But they have already made them a name for themselves, winning the Essex Cup as well as the Senior Cup in the Essex Sunday Corinthian Football League. And it will be a tough outing this uh, for the Gower All-Stars as Flyhouse have certainly got their eyes also set on this cup competition, having made a good start to the season themselves. There's a ball into the box, he's tipped over and well that was an opportunity there for Flyhouse early on. And it was Kieran James, the striker for the home side who had an awful lot of room in the penalty area as Gower looked to pass this ball around and Isaac Atite, the captain, losing out here and making see the free kick. Flyhouse in possession and they might have a chance here on goal again and it's gone into the net. Well, that is a disastrous start for Gower. It's a goal for Fenton. The assist will go to Warren James after he dispossessed Atite on the edge of the area. And what a finish this is left-footed past the goalkeeper. And into the side of the net, Jake Fenton gives Flyhouse the lead. And what sort of a response did Gower have here? That's a lovely back heel and they might have a chance now to get themselves in the penalty area. But the Flyhouse defence more than capable of keeping that at bay. And a counter may be on here. They keep the ball in on the far side and with the scrap ensuing. Gower have got it back, a long ball forward, which again is dealt with by Flyhouse. But Gower here with a chance to get their foot on the ball, although K.O. Brown has sadly lost that one, and Flyhouse once more may now look to counter. Can they get themselves into the area again on the outside, showing great pace? There's a ball into the box, good save from Grillo. And Gower under the cosh early on. So header flipped down the sideline and Gower looking to get themselves into the area but again it's very well read by Flyhouse it's going to be passed back to the goalkeeper Grillo here and he's going to launch it up the field none of this play the ball out from the back like you see in the football league and indeed in some higher non-league games Certainly a case of get rid of it as uh, Abadi takes the free kick. And Juan Arias gets the pass across. Khalid El Fayor with the ball forward as they look to get the player in the area here. There might be a chance. Can they get a shot away? Again, Flyhouse have just about managed to deal with it, although it's on the edge of the area here. And they will eventually get the ball away. That was a huge opportunity for Gower to maybe do something there as a long ball will see Grillo out of his goal. And Jonathan Grillo confident enough to play the pass out to his captain Isaac Atite, although that will go over K.O. Brown's shoulder to go out for the throw in. Can Gower get themselves level here? There's a chance on the edge and couldn't hit the target. Well, there's an opportunity for Brasilero. He probably will look back on that and say he probably should have hit the target, but 
It's still Flyhouse Athletic leading by a goal to nil here. It's second minute. Jake Fenton strike the difference between the two sides here. Mentioned before that Gower coming into this cup tie on the back of four straight victories after a sluggish start to the league campaign. There's a chance here for Gower as they get into the channel. Can they produce a cross here? It's into the area but doesn't beat the first man. And it's dealt with by Flyhouse. Well, Yannick James may look back on that and think he may have done better with that. Again headed away and into midfield it goes as Obadi will use his captain Atite. Now Brown. Lovely footwork from Brown and a crossfield pass which will find his opposite winger. Very nicely done by Brown. And can they manage to dig out another cross here? But good defending by Flyhouse. Although Gower still very much have the ball here. Although it's taken away from Obadi as the break now may be on. And again, there might be a chance here. They're in on goal. Probably should have shot first time. They are going to try and go the long way around by the looks of it. Flyhouse, and it's just about being defended by the All-Stars as Flyhouse knocking on the door again and again. It was Kieran James. The ball over the top is uh, not going to be to anybody in particular and dealt with this time by the All-Stars as Brown now on this near side will... Look to shift the play and now there might be a counter attack on here. Not perhaps the touch they were after but they are now down the sideline and the goalkeeper's come a long way and he's not got the ball. The shot on goal has been dealt with by Flyhouse as a Tite there looked to slide it in. It was a wonderful sliding challenge to keep that ball at bay. Could have been the equaliser for Gower but it's now Flyhouse at the other end and a chance here for them to double their lead. Lots of room here. Can they find a killer ball over the far side? Chance, can they put it in again? Grillo just about does enough. Well, again, this reverse pass here is an absolute beauty. And look at the goalkeeper coming out to try and get the ball. Atite tries to slide it in, but it's a wonderful intervention by Danny Fuller, the Flyhouse athletic captain. To stop it going in the net. Rossolero to Brown. And Keogh Brown now looking to go on the outside. Again, he doesn't quite do it convincingly, but he has managed to get away from his marker here and a chance for the All-Stars again. But once again, Flyhouse doing just enough to clear. Might be a hit from distance here, but it's way off target. And again, Brasolero with the right footed shot hanging corner here and the header has it gone in from James are they going to get it clear it's Bedlam in the penalty area but they've managed to get it clear the All-Stars and it will be Gower who come away with the ball well Flyhouse there nearly going 2-0 up and again it's the striker James who had the opportunity but he didn't take it Flyhouse now looking to bring the ball out from their own penalty area here. And doing it very nicely up until that particular pass. Fuller can't keep the ball and a pass now which will find an All-Stars player in an offside position. The flag raised. I think it's safe to say Obadi didn't necessarily agree with that but Respecting the linesman's decision, he says offside as Brown comes forward here for the All-Stars. And a lovely ball into the channel. Lovely return. Can Brown get a shot away? And again, it's off target. Well, again, the interplay with Arias was very good. Sadly, Brown on his left foot couldn't get the ball on target. As another cross comes in, but again, dealt with by Flyhouse as these stormy conditions really are hammering down here at the Oakers, the ball into the area it might have a chance here and can they put it in, what a clearance off oh, my word how on earth did Flyhouse keep that out well as the stormy conditions took centre stage for the moment this chance 
probably should have been buried by Abadi, but what a clearance that is coming in from Solomon Ogawamoju. He had absolutely no right to clear it as a cross comes in. Again, the deflection may fall for Gower here. Brown on his left foot once again. Lovely touch, but again, Flyhouse clear. Well, this is very much a game that Gower are in. But they still trail by a goal to nil. And they've given the ball away once more, although Flyhouse have given it straight back. Is that a foul? No, says the referee. Play on. As Brown keeps it in on this near side. It's gone out of play just as Arias looked to get himself down the right touch line. As now Flyhouse once more coming forward. James in there, but again, they've just about defended it. James, edge of the area. Again, he's going to take the long way round. A brilliant finish. Well, he could have easily had a hat-trick in this first half. The Flyhouse striker, Kieran James. But that is a super finish. Pass Grillo into the net for 2-0. Well, they will now be in need of some inspiration here. The All-Stars as Flyhouse have taken a firm grip of this as lovely passing we'll see them on the counter once again and it's a good run here nice defending it has to be said from the All-Stars although it has gone out of play launched into the area and the flick header 3-0 well it's James again the goal scorer right on half time Smith's launcher of a throw into the penalty area. Grillo nowhere. And James the biggest to meet it. Two in two minutes for the big man. On ball will find the Flyhouse goalkeeper. And that's half time. Well, up until around about two or three minutes ago, the All-Stars were in the game. But two Kieran James goals right on the cusp of half time. Have given Flyhouse Athletic a 3 0 lead in this cup tie. do here to get themselves back in the game you get the feeling that if they do score first in this second half then there would certainly be a game on and that's what they're trying to do here as the cross in the box comes in and again it's not the greatest of clearances but Flyhouse will deal with it and look to set James off on a gallop the other end Grillo with the ball at feet. Oh, he's been dispossessed. And it's an easy tap-in for Kieran James. An absolute disaster for Jonathan Grillo in the All-Stars goal. Didn't know whether to launch it. Didn't know whether to pass it. And James helps himself to a hat-trick. Well, he probably should have had a hat-trick in the first half, Kieran James. The amount of chances that he had for himself well he does have the match ball now this is a free kick coming here and Flyhouse straight away off up the other end no hanging around chance here on the left foot can they get the shot away no they can't but they are in supreme form aren't they Flyhouse and why wouldn't they be winning four goals to nil those three goals in a six-minute period, either side of half-time, as there's a chance here, one-on-one, -on -one, and it's five! Well, 
They really are starting to stretch their legs here. Our oh, fly house, it's Kai Brown. It was a, a stray ball, which nobody was expecting. And I don't even think Kai Brown was. He had a very simple running on goal. And Grillo couldn't stop it from going in. 5 0, and surely Cup tie over. Well, this has been truly shell shocking for Gower. Four straight wins coming into this game. But this is going to be one that I think he's going to get away from them as Flyhouse. And their goalkeeper, Grant Lefevre, deal with a long ball forward. It really has been the period either side of half time, which has been Gower's downfall. Four goals coming in there, and there might be another one here, although Grillo would be happy to see that one force down his throat. Those four goals, obviously three for Kieran James. And now one for Kai Brown, all coming in a nine, ten minute spell. Either side of half time. And there might be another one here and it's just past the post. Well, this is on the verge of getting truly embarrassing here for the All-Stars as Jake Fenton was hunting a second. There might be a chance here for a break here. They certainly won't give up the All-Stars. I think it's safe to say that barring an absolute miracle, the cup tie is probably gone. But certainly personal pride will be on the line here as Flyhouse looking to add to their total. They're still trying to play football at least, the All-Stars, although... James now picks it up, playing slightly deeper now that he has three goals next to his name. Fenton chasing the ball up front. Lovely stepping ability, which will give the All-Stars a chance to break. And Once again, they move forward, looking for yet another strike as Arias makes a challenge to get the ball away. Now they can break once more with the little fellow Arias. A good ball in and a great sliding challenge. Absolutely terrific. I think it was James again who slid in to make the block. But Gower's still going here. And as long as the game continues, they will hunt for the bare minimum a consolation here. But the longer the game indeed does go on, Flyhouse will feel obviously more in control. They're already looking at round three, I think. Don't think I've seen footballing miracles like scoring five goals in the last 20 minutes have ever happened before. I think the closest we ever got was probably Barcelona onto PSG in a Champions League fixture once that I can remember. Anything can happen in uh, Sunday League football. But you have to say that it's probably against Gower at the moment as Flyhouse have another corner. And quite a meteoric rise as this for Flyhouse as the ball cleared off the line and Grillo came off the line to try and claim it. And punches it upfield as Flyhouse once more will lose the ball and Arias in there and now they can maybe break here can they get themselves up the field is the referee going to give a free kick yes he is interesting to see the linesman actually put his flag to his head there's a shot from distance and it's going to rebound off the keeper Lefever. and he just about manages to get a grip of it in the end there's Gower down the wing here can they get in a position to cross the ball as Into the area, away by Flyhouse. Brown. 
Can they get a ball into the area here and give themselves a chance of at least getting a consolation? Over on the far side as the rain continues to fall here. There's lovely passing around the area, but again, Flyhouse deal with it. Lovely footwork once again as they look to bring themselves forward. Has indeed shown some nice footwork since coming on, Luke Harriet. As Gower now come away with it. El Fayor, good ball in, and a great shot, wonderful goal. Well, that's a really nice goal. Lovely play by Khalid El Fayor. And a really nice finish from Abdella. Hitcham Abdella gets a consolation. Well, just 14 minutes to go. Plus any stoppage time. And the way they played today, Gower, for the majority of the match, it's a goal that they thoroughly deserve. Again, if you take away the 10 minute period either side of half time. It's a cup tie that would have been an awful lot closer, but the game does last for 90 minutes, an injury time, and sadly, not just the 80 plus, but they are going to go and have a tr chance of maybe getting another one here. Again, we'll continue to play until the final whistle as a cross comes in. Are they going to get it clear? Yes, they are. And it will be a corner. Which is going to be taken quickly. And Brown, can he get a cross in? Gets it back and a hit here from Abadi. Oh, what a goal. What a brilliant goal by Rashid Abadi. It's a lovely little corner piece that him and Keo Brown work. And what a left foot strike. This is from the edge of the area. Goalkeeper, no chance. He can only watch it fly into the net. They've got another one back, the All-Stars. Well, do you believe in miracles? 13 minutes left in the game. And all of a sudden, Gower just may have incentive to try and get another one back here. If they can score quickly, it might make one or two nervous in the Flyhouse Athletic team as they give the ball away once more. Again, the hit from distance is way wide from Abdella chasing a second. I think it's safe to say that both of these sides will be more than happy to get this game out of the way. Flyhouse heading to round three. Had a very convincing win in the first round of the competition. An 8-4 win over Supreme Athletic. Gower, who up until this afternoon had only conceded four goals in their past four games. Conceded five in 90 minutes here. Well, it's a season which is certainly looking promising for them. Even if this particular cup tie is probably out of sight now as Brown gets the pass in. And a lovely little ball in. Is he offside here? The flag goes up. It's a shame, really, because it was a lovely little reverse pass which... Gave Yannick James the chance. And there's the full-time whistle. Flyhouse. Deserved winners. Winning by five goals to two. A hat-trick from Kieran James. Gower, unfortunately, out of the London Cup at the second round. It's finished Flyhouse five. Gower two. The reality is, the reality is, as he said in that half-time, we've got to sort out this timing situation. It, it, it's setting the wrong tone, isn't it? And ultimately, we, 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 they weren't better than us today. It, was going to be, it would have been a cracking game had we not made those mistakes. Everyone makes mistakes and we're not going to point fingers. But the reality is we need to prepare properly and be here with half an hour to spare so that we can properly, properly apply ourselves. Otherwise, everyone gets pissed off waiting, you know, coming out the whole day. Do stuff they all with can get in from time to time, but f***ing, come on, man. F***ing into kickoff. Very so poor coming late, that's not the reason we lost. Preparation, of course, 
you got to set up to win, but brother, come on. <laughs> you know what it is? We don't, we don't even give us, like, the problem is, is that at least give us, give ourselves the chance to, like, play a game of football and compete. When we turn up late, when we have, like, half of the team warming up, half of the team not warming up, boy, we don't even give ourselves the chance to be in a game of football and actually compete for, to get into the next round, man. We just ourselves over. It's the early goal, same again, same again. Probably about two or three goals were poor, poor mistakes. They don't go in, it's a lot tighter game. Yeah. But realistically, everyone we was all off the ball today, boys. Their yeah. quality yeah. showed more than us, bro. That's, that's uh, the fact of it. We didn't tighten up. But even when we won one nil down, we had two chances, and it was, it was just one of those days. <laughs> no, I'm talking about the clear, the clear cut. The two, those two. <laughs>